Shabbat Shalom, one, giving all praise to Yahweh, Bashim El Shah, Muata with the Shlaki. Giving all praise to Yahweh, Bashim El Shah, the Bahamas, the elders of Jay and Master Ruel. Salutations to you, Akim out there, pushing this word with truth and sincerity in the four corners of the earth. You know, risking your lives and your freedom to do so, as the brother says. And uh, pretty much today, I'm going to get into. This, this, her, this heroin and opioid crisis, you know, that Esau, Edom, which uh, you Caucasians today are facing, you know, which is a judgment from God, you know, because now in the media, we're having a war on drugs and, and um, this drug has become, you know, drugs in America is becoming a major problem. Why is that? Because at a point in time, there was only a affecting blacks, the minority blacks and, and Latinos, which are biblical Israelites. It's only affecting them. Now it's affecting uh, all nations, but mainly Esau Edom, which is the dominant society, so for white men. You know? And that was a part of the curses that Israel had to undergo for disobeying God's commandments. We were, uh, we were being smitten with madness. We were being strung out oppressed continually and now it's starting the script is starting to flip and now it's going on our enemies so before i jump into anything i'm going to get deuteronomy 30 verse 7 and the lord thy god will put all these curses upon thy enemies and on them that hate thee which persecuted thee and it's a known fact that we've been persecuted by the Edomites. it's a known fact you know we went through hardcore slavery transportation from or all other countries, the translated slave trade. You know, we've been through these harsh conditions. You see, so now the Lord is putting these curses on our enemies. You know, now that you know, now they shoot in schools. You know, they've been shrunk out on drugs, become prostitutes and harlots and pimps and you know, you know strong hands. They can't find work. These are all the curses that we had to undergo. But now that's transitioning. So I'm going to um, jump straight into it. This is from uh, this is New York Times dot com article uh, in the heroin crisis. White families seek gentler war on drugs. You know, this is by Catherine Q. C. Lie. October 30th, 2015. And I'm just going to read a little bit of it. And it says, um, Newtown, New Hampshire. Uh, I think it's New Haven. Yeah, New Haven or New Hampshire. When Courtney Griffin was using heroin, she lied, disappeared, and stole from her parents to support her $400 a day habit. Her family paid her debts, never filed a police report, and kept her addiction, addiction secret until she was found dead last year of an overdose. At Courtney's funeral, she decided they decided to acknowledge the reality that redefined their life. Their bright, beautiful daughter, just 20, who played the French horn in high school and dreamed of living in Hawaii, had been kicked out of the Marines for drugs. Eventually, she overdosed at her boyfriend's grandmother's house, uh, where she died alone. Okay, so it's pretty much talking about this one Eating my woman, you know, how she overdosed on using heroin, you know, spending $400 a day, stealing from her parents, you know, and the parents try to keep it a secret. But Israel, this is curses that befell us. Now it's befalling them. You see, I'm going to continue on. When I was a kid, junkies were the worst. Doug Griffin, 63, called his father, we called in their comfort home here in southeastern New Hampshire. Uh, I used to have an office in New York City. I saw them, noting that junkies is a word he would never use now. He said that these days they're working right next to you. You don't even know it. They're in my daughter's bedroom. They are they are my daughter. You see? So now now see back back in the days he used to walk walk around New York City and we know that the junkies he referred to well, the minorities, you know, when you walk through the streets of New York, it's not as bad as it used to be, but 
who were the Jordans? Jakes, Israel, Israelites, Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. They were the drunkies. They were the alkies. You know, they were the alcoholics. But now, he, he, he said, they are my daughter's battery. They are my daughter. You see, these are the curses that were on our enemies now, you see? And so, we know, when the nation's long-running war against drugs was defined by the crack epidemic based in poor, predominantly back, black urban areas, the public response was defined by zero tolerance and stiff prison sentences, right? Because when our people was doing it, it was jail time and, and, and no tolerance policy, and throw the book at you. We know, but today's heroin crisis is different. While heroin use, while heroin use has climbed among all demographic groups, it has skyrocketed among whites. Nearly 90% of those who try heroin for the first time in the last decade were white. 90% of the heroin users in the last decade were white people, okay? So, in not the scriptures say, uh, it's not true and accurate, you know. You know, it's plain and simple. You know, I don't have to get it again, but the Lord said he's going to pour all these curses upon our enemy, okay? So this is Second Thessalonians 2, verse 3. You know what? I'm going to start at... One and six. Seeing it is a righteous thing with God to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. So it's a righteous thing with the Heavenly Father to recompense tribulation to those that's troubling us. But this time the Lord did it himself by making uh, uh Edomites uh become strung out on these drugs, man. You know, like as the article said, ninety percent of them are on drugs in the last decade. Okay. So is what this is like crazy news because when we was doing it, we was junkies, okay? Uh, so, I'm going to get one more script. I'm going to get another scripture. Bear with me. Yeah. So, this is Galatians 6 and 7. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. But whatsoever a man sow, that that shall he also reap. You see? For whatsoever um so I teaching all things. Right, I read it again. Galatians 6 verse 7. Be not deceived, God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man sow. That show he also reap, okay? When you sow something, you're putting it in the ground. This is what you label for. That's what it means when you sow things, okay? So whatever a man sow, whatever he does in life, will come back to him. You know, as a saying go, uh, karma is a bitch, payback is a bitch, well served go. Um, what you do comes back to you. So be careful what you do to others because it will come back. Right, so I read it again, Galatians 6 and 7. Be not deceived. Don't fool yourself. You know, don't 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 let don't let somebody lie to you. You can't don't be fooled. God is not mocked. You can't you can't mock the Lord. You can't get one over on that Holy Father. It's impossible, okay? Don't think you did something and the Lord forgot about it. Whether it be good or bad, okay, especially not the bad. For whatsoever a man soar. Whatever he does in life, that shall he also reap. So what goes around comes around. And now, now, white America has experienced this heroin crisis that they can't figure out how to get up out of. You see, we know it says nearly 90% of those who try heroin for the first time in the last decade were white. Right, because now they're falling from that pedestal. You see, things ain't coming so easy for them anymore. And they don't know how to deal with the oppression. So now they turn it into drugs. You know, first it was marijuana, then it was alcohol, now it's uh, weed, you know, it's oxycodone, you know, it's Percocets, Mollies, you see what I'm saying? It's affecting them, you know, heavily, you know, and that's and that's why they, it's an outcry, you see? 
but the Lord said that was going to happen, just like in ancient Egypt, the Lord sent the plagues, and that's one of them, you know, to, to plague the modern Egyptians, which are the Edomites, the Caucasians, okay, for oppressing my people, Israel. So, this is Ezekiel 35, verse 5. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred, and hast shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword, in the time of the calamity, in the time that their iniquity had an end. Right, so the Lord is saying, because you had a perpetual hatred, and you shed the blood of our people, whether it be from the sword, disease, uh, famine, uh, you know, all types of laws against us, or just straight out killing us. You, you have per pursued us with the sword. And a time when our iniquity had an end, you know, a time where the Lord said, they stopped committing evil, we paid for our crimes. You know, these are the times we had an end when you took it too far. Therefore, verse 6, therefore, as I live, saith the Lord God, I will prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee, right? A part of your blood being pursued is this, uh, is this drug epidemic that's killing you off. And it's not just weed or alcohol. This is very, very powerful prescribed drugs that are wiping you out, you know. Now you're experiencing what so-called Negroes have to experience during the crack epidemic. You see, getting strung out. It's all a war star, you know. Uh, the father and the mother chewing up heroin and, and the kids in the back. I mean, it's sad, but we have to endure. And now God is bringing it on you. Don't don't kill us. Don't, don't be mad at us. We're just bringing the word. You see, we're just messengers of God. Call out your Allah's name and show See, if Sif, thou has not hated blood, evil blood should pursue thee, and now thou experience in the blood. So we're just giving you the message of what time it is, okay? For, 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 for your violence you know, against our people, because like the scriptures in Galatians 6 and 7 says, uh, you're not deceived, God is not mocked. The rest of a man's soul is going to reap it, okay? And now it's your time for weeping, okay? And that's just what time we're living in. This is uh, Lamentation 4, verse 21. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom. Edom means soko wiping. Edom means, uh, uh, like, uh, it means red. Edom means red, okay? Because uh, you are the red people, okay? So, O daughter of Edom, meaning the nation. Edom is the nation that dwelleth in the land of Uz, the cup also shall pass through unto thee. Right, cup means uh, symbolizing afflictions, troubles, distresses, anguishes, hell. So the cup we had to drink is going to pass to you. Those afflictions, now you're starting to feel it. You know, economical, you know, you, you, you graduate from schools and you can't find jobs. It's the cup that Edom is starting to drink now, you see. And um, unto thee, thou shalt be drunken, and thou shalt make thyself naked. Right now, you're being exposed. Uh, naked when you're naked, you cover up. First thing, you know, now you're being exposed. You see what I'm saying? You should make yourself naked. Um, verse 22. The punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. Zion is the people. Negroes, Latinos, Native American. He will no more carry thee away into captivity. He will visit thine iniquity, O daughter of Edom. He will discover thy sins. And now your sins are being discovered. You know, and it's really nothing you can do to stop it. It's inevitable. Uh, the crimes that's been committed for all these decades, all these years, are now uh, coming into the ears of the Lord, and He's acting upon it. You see? And that's just the part of what's going on, the heroin crisis, the opioid crisis, you know, the, the, the war on drugs, it's, it's just partial to what's about to come, okay? So this is part of the cup, according to the Bible. What is however a man saw, that shall he also reap. And now is your time to reap, you know. And um, as for my people, you shouldn't feel bad, you know. These are the times of judgments, okay? And whether you want it or not, it's going to happen. So, Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are the biblical Israelites according to the Bible. Um, this is just one video just giving you an update the calamities that's befalling America and, and, and
and our and our enemies, the Edomites. Okay, so with that, you know, praise God, by Shimon Shah, honest the elders, double, and salutations to the Until next time, shalom.